I've been hearing this for years, brothers and sisters. You know what I've told some of the brothers? It may well be that you have to be extremely transparent. What do I mean by that? A lot of... Sheikh Ubaid is laughing. Extremely transparent. What do I mean by that? Some of our parents, they still have the same mindset of back home. Sah? Akhi, be patient. Huh? Everyone just gets married after 30. Fud fudut, nagat af, fadiso. Huh? What's wrong with you? Sit down. Your father married at the age of 30. Your grandfather maybe married at the age of 40. Right? This is maybe the mindset that is still there. Wallahi, I told some brothers. Go to your father and explain to him that you are roasting. <laughs> Wallahi, قُلْتُ لَهُمْ هَكَذَا Tell them that you are about to fall into haram. Maybe that is the only way he will understand. Early in the university, I was talking about how we live in such a sexualized society. Sahih? Everything is telling you, hey, tell like, hey, tell like, hey, tell like. Enticing you to do haram. It is so easy to do haram. Back in the day, my brothers and my sisters, if you wanted to watch haram, you have to go into the living room and you had the big computers, Dell, huh? with big backs. Huh? And when you are accessing haram, you are looking at the door. Huh? And today, brothers and sisters, right? I don't think anyone would take the big computer and put it under his blanket. Sahih? We have these phones where every haram thing is so easily accessible. Agreed? You can ask an escort to come home with just a, f- a fingertip away to commit zina in the house. Haram has been made so, so easy, brothers and sisters. And as parents, I beg you, Wallahi al I beg you, right? Make it easy for your children. Allah said in the Quran, وَأَنْكِحُ الْأَيَامَ مِنْكُمْ Instructing the father, the guardian to marry his children off. It is a responsibility upon the parent to make things easy. I'm not saying that you are going to cover all of the expenses. No, say to him, look, we can meet halfway. Go and work and I will help you. Right? A lot of our parents don't know what's happening. I'm the one that's dealing with all of their questions. They're messaging me on Instagram, messaging me on Twitter. I've done this, I've done that, and my mother is making it difficult. You know what I've seen over time, brothers and sisters? Please take this from me. When a father stops his daughter from getting married, even though there is such a good proposal, for no other reason other than, oh, he's from a different qabila. He's from a different tribe. It may well be, subhanAllah, that his daughter ends up running away with some gal, with some kafir or becomes impregnated outside of marriage, right? And then the father is saying, oh, what's happened? Let me get my daughter married off before the shame comes to me. A little too late. Why can we not make it easy? Especially in this country, do you prefer some kafir guy called Mark to impregnate your daughter Khadija? Is that what you would prefer? We are dealing with different dynamics. We are living in a time and age. Wallah, if a good brother comes to you, you should say, Alhamdulillah, sajda to shukur. A good guy came. Because of all of the fitan that is out there. Right? So I'm begging the parents, stop making it difficult. Right? I know what's happening behind closed doors. Many young men and women, they are under their, fo- under their blankets, watching pornography. Relieving themselves. The parent doesn't know that. He goes, what shall I do? Right? I have zina calling me from every direction. Everything is calling me to haram. At least now I'm just, you know, relieving myself. You know, it's my shahwa. I'm doing this. This is what they say. Right? And then he becomes addicted. It ruins his life. One time, wallahi, an auntie messaged in. You know what she said? My nine-year-old child. I saw him, or I saw him searching. You know when you search on YouTube, the search, whatever you search, it still shows. She said, I saw my nine-year-old searching. How do I overcome pornography addiction? Nine years of age. Right? This, brothers and sisters, 
nine year olds are watching this and she goes I felt absolutely broken right what should I do and then we sent her some websites maybe that she could you know help her child with this is the struggle brothers and sisters right and marriage is a solution to so many of these problems my sisters let me tell you guys something the guy who's saying to you that I want to marry you but he doesn't go straight to your father this individual is not serious he is not serious he just wants to chew you like a piece of chewing gum and spit you out you're just another girl on the list if my brothers and my sisters is not going straight to your father that should be what a huge red flag the brother who wants you in a halal way he's not going to creep through the window he's going to come straight through the door to your father they can plan it out right haram relationships is not an option a lot of it a lot of the time it doesn't end well you know what Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah rahmatullahi alayhi mentioned he says wa'alam anna kulla man ahabba li ghayri allahi fala budda an yadurruhu mahbubu anyone my brothers and my sisters that you love for other than the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal or you now prioritize over Allah that person it's only a matter of time before he hurts you right how many messages have I received especially on Instagram from sisters saying I'm broken he made me all of these false promises and now he's dumped me right he's moved on already to another sister right even though subhanAllah I really thought that he was going to go to my father can you see brothers and sisters they are left heartbroken, left hurt. And that is because you've done the right, wrong thing. You've done the wrong thing. Right? Unfortunately, this is how it will end up a lot of the time. And even subhanAllah, if they do end up getting married without doing the correct thing, which is to separate from one another and to make tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal, that marriage is not going to be based on barakah. It's not going to be a blessed one. Because it started with haram, except, expect the haram to continue in it. Problems after problem. Allah hifadak, Sheikh. Barakallah Does that make sense, my brothers and my sisters? Right.